Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl, and we're going to be talking about the Supergirl film that was going to be coming, and also we're going to be talking about The Flash and Supergirl, and their potential upcoming next crossover. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV or DC videos later this year. So obviously yesterday I made that video on Justice League, so not DC TV, and I kind of want to continue with that theme just in today's video, a little bit towards the end, but mainly I think the main topic we're going to be talking about is the Flash and Supergirl musical crossover, and will we get another one? Because basically I was watching this whole big interview with the Flash cast the other day, I'll leave the link in the description below to that. I was actually watching it today, not the other day. But it was really good and really insightful. They, you know, answered questions as to how they got their jobs. Like, Grant was there when Candace auditioned and everything like that. And Carlos got his job whilst he was in New York. And just a few days after that, Tom Cavanaugh was watching him. And it all kind of worked out. So, there's some great stuff in that interview. So, please, please be sure to go check it out. It's about, like, an hour and a half long. I watched all of it this morning. And there was some interesting stuff that they talked about. But the most interesting thing and the most interesting question that they were asked was to do with if they would do another musical crossover. So before we get into the musical crossover side of things, let's look at how The Flash and Supergirl are scheduled to appear next year, you know, in our new seasons, and could they cross over? So Supergirl is set to be premiering about a year from now in around April, May, June, around the mid-season in the summer season so it would be a summer show for this year and they would finish the episodes you know towards the end of the summer or like the beginning of September or something like that it depends on how many episodes Sugo actually ends up getting apparently as of right now they are scheduled to go as normal so that would be 20 episodes but I would say probably they're gonna cut it down to about maybe 18 or so it could be even lower than that it could be 13 I mean I wouldn't be too surprised and I think it's just down to when you know the shows can return to film however Supergirl probably will start filming around November time due to Melissa's maternity leave actually ending around then so we've talked about this before but that is why Supergirl can't go back to film at the end of summer or like in September whenever the other shows are going to come back because Melissa's not going to be there and there's no actual point doing that if the title character and title actor isn't around to do that. So they were able to do that recently when she was on Broadway but that was just for a couple of weeks where they shot some other scenes then they just caught up when Melissa came back so this will be a massive chunk in terms of months so they're not going to do that they're just going to wait for Melissa and then that's when they're going to start the show so Supergirl is coming back around the summertime like start of summer so you have to keep that in mind and then The Flash is going to be filming whenever they can and they will start filming probably at the end of the summer and they're going to have like a 20 to 22 episode run as per normal, but it's not going to be coming out in October. They're going to be releasing the new season, season 7 of The Flash, in January 2021, so don't worry about that. However, due to the way that the filming is going to be going ahead, they could cross over very early on in Supergirl season because The Flash would have filmed most of its early episodes by the time Supergirl even starts in November. They would be about three to four months ahead of them if we consider that the shows are going to start filming around, you know, end of July, sort of start of August. I would hazard the guess. That's when some people have been saying. However, so they could cross over at that very early point in Supergirl's run in the next season. And I guess that could be a replacement to the Batwoman crossover with Superman and Lois. Because they planned to do that, but then we had the really strange out of nowhere announcement that Ruby Rose is leaving Batwoman. So that came out of nowhere, so I don't know if that crossover is going ahead. So this would give a chance for The Flash and Supergirl to cross over. But it would be early on in Supergirl season. I would say it would just be around just past the mid-season for The Flash, I would hazard the guess. So maybe around the normal crossover time. So it would make sense, and I think the schedules would line up. However, I think Supergirl is probably not going to cross over that much this season or you know within my mind I don't think it is because they're gonna be starting late they're gonna try and get their story and I don't think they will have that much time to sort of condone other stories to be put into it because Supergirl is gonna start so late and I don't think it's gonna have as many episodes this season so I don't know what do you guys think about this 
I think it's very unlikely Supergirl's going to have a big crossover this season, but I think there is a chance that it can cross over with The Flash if everything turns out, you know, as scheduled. And so let's move on to talk about the musical crossover, what we're talking about. So will there be a part two, like a second part of the musical crossover? So in the interview, Grant was asked, would you be down to do another musical crossover? And Grant said he is down, but he wants to do a more real world situation type musical in terms of he referenced the karaoke back in season one with Caitlin and obviously that's Danielle. So he had a great time doing that and he had a great time working on the musical and he would really like to do something more real worldy where it's like set in the world of the flash and you're not taken to like another dimension where they create the world of the musical but like singing in the show i think is what he's trying to refer to in a more real world situation so something like that he would be totally down for and so the musical i've heard this from so many people was very taxing and it was a lot of hard work and it was very daunting for the actors and the people behind the scenes so everyone has said they loved doing it and they loved the way it turned out however it was just so much hard work compared to some of the other episodes they normally do so you know you had the glee reunion and everything and it was really fun grant said and he liked to do another but he would like to be more grounded and maybe that would be a bit less daunting for him and whoever else is going to be in the crossover so he does want to do another musical crossover that is a tick that is something to keep in mind for the future potentially with supergirl so yeah, what do you think about this? Are you excited? Do you want to see another musical crossover? I do because it's my favorite episode of all time in DC TV. Okay, so let's move on to the Supergirl side of things in terms of the films. So recently it was reported via Heroic Hollywood that Supergirl has been put on hold in terms of the film in place for focus on Superman. So, you know, with all of this, I would say I'm not very happy about this because I do prefer Supergirl and I have always preferred Supergirl. And it was always a bit strange to me that they would place it on hold to focus on Superman. Like, are they worried that people are gonna get confused about Supergirl and Superman? They're completely different. Yes, they're from the same House of L, they're from the same family and stuff, and they have similar powers, but they have different stories to tell. So I do find it very strange how they would put the Supergirl film on hold in order to focus on Superman and currently as far as we know there's no focus on Superman they're not trying to make like a Man of Steel 2 or something or you know recast Superman and make another Superman film so I find it strange I don't know if I 100% believe the reports I mean Heroic Hollywood is pretty reliable but not the most reliable so I would say I don't know how true this is, but we should wait for a big outlet like Variety or Deadline or The Hollywood Reporter to report on this before we give like actual credence to it. But also yesterday, like I made my video, the Snyder Cut is coming and that's going to be a version of Justice League. You'll see more Superman in that. So was that what they're referring to? I don't think it is, but I guess if he sort of shines more in this version of Justice League, Maybe there will be conversations about, you know, the return of Superman, the return of Henry Cavill as Superman in the years to come. But I still find it strange how Supergirl can be put on hold just for Superman. Anyway, so moving on to what Zack Snyder also said in his sort of live stream he did yesterday. I didn't watch it, but I saw some clips of it. So he said it was always his intention to broaden the universe. So he's talking about the DC universe in the films to bring in the family, which Supergirl falls into that. He thinks a Supergirl solo film would be amazing. So he's totally down for it. He says he doesn't have a script or anything, so he wouldn't be working on it. It would be someone else. And I guess I was a little excited by the fact that, you know, they were thinking about Supergirl and, you know, they wanted to introduce this and to bring in the different members of the House of Al. It's very exciting to me because, like I said, I do prefer Supergirl and I love Superman, but I'm really rooting to see a Supergirl film. And obviously, Melissa's probably not going to get picked for that because she works so hard for nearly eight to nine months a year on Supergirl, the TV shows like The Flash. Grant Gustin would be the perfect pick for the films. However, like I said with Supergirl, like with Melissa, he works eight to nine months on The Flash and, you know, filming tends to take many months for these big films. So it just won't work out, but it would be the perfect pick for the role. So what do you guys think about all of this Supergirl stuff in terms of the film? Also, what do you think about The Flash and musical crossover having a part two? Would you want to see that? Let me know in the comments down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.